Hey, welcome to Board Games Today. I'm Brett, and my hands is Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer issue number 42. Now, Stormbringer is a magazine between Hatchet and Games Workshop taking you through the Age of Sigmar hobby. It's everything from how to play, how to paint, how to put figures together, and you get everything you need, uh, including two forces, forces of destruction and forces of order. Now, here's the negative, is this is Age of Sigmar 3rd edition, so the rules in this are a little outdated as 4th edition has just debuted. Uh, but this is always a great way to build forces on relative cheap. So what is in this issue? It is Molog the Mighty. Let's check out what you get in there. You get the full set, and I believe, if I was remember right, uh, this is a uh, warband, uh, uh, under underworld warband uh, that you could use in the game. But I'm looking forward to it because there's some really cool figures in this. So what's going to be in the magazine itself? I'm mean, going to guess it's going to be pretty standard. So you're going to see. Uh, how to put the figures together, some background, how to paint them, um, some rules, and then a scenario to, to play them with. So we got some background, we got Magic in the Realms, Moloch and the Mighty's uh, info, how to put together exactly, as I said, how to paint. Now what's cool is when I say you get everything, you get everything, including brushes and paints, and when you get new paints, it goes back and tells you where to put them on previous figures, which is pretty, pretty handy and pretty cool. But you got Moloch rules, but, you know, as I said, unfortunately those are outdated. Rules for 3rd uh, edition Age of Sigmar, again, outdated. And then we get a scenario to play, which of course you could use in the latest edition as well. So, pretty standard. I think these magazines are uh, pretty... Uh, they, they, they have a pattern to them. Like, they, they don't really break the mold all too much, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, so, as I said, like, the negative is that the Age of Sigmar rules are outdated at this point, but it's still an easy way to build forces and do it for really, really cheap. Uh, we're keeping track of that in the description on Facebook, on YouTube, and our site. Uh, you can get all that info, breaking that down, uh, and you save a good amount of money. So was, if you're good with the figures themselves, this is a great way to go and build some forces. So these are pretty cool figures. I actually am really looking forward to putting this together. This was a, a war band that I was tempted to get like a long time ago, and um, I don't think I ever did. So I'm, I'm kind of pumped to actually get it to myself and put it all together. And actually, it looks like it's a pretty easy one to put together uh, for the most part. It doesn't look like it's going to be one that's too difficult. It needs a lot of glue. It kind of looks snap fit in a, way, a little bit of a way. So looking forward to it. This is pretty cool. Uh, if you want the latest Games Workshop news, though, if you want uh, board games, card games in general, role-playing games, whatever, check us out at boardgametoday.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, like all that stuff. All at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep rolling that dice. Get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at BoardGameToday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.